First tonight, in a world filled with technology, social media, now even remote learning, it can still be difficult to really connect with children. In fact, their worlds have become so full of distraction that some could argue it's even more difficult now. For 16 years, an organization based in Brunswick has been working to make more meaningful connections, especially with children in lower income neighborhoods. And it's doing that work in a colorful way through a traveling art van. Art comes from here. Jamie We're Silvestri firmly not. believes in the power of art. art. From self-expression to a form of healing or coping, she's made it a mission to share it and help others create. And I started Art Van in 2004 through the city of Bath. Over 16 years, the colorful art van has been traveling Bath, Brunswick, Lewiston, Auburn, and Biddeford to meet up with kids ready to try something new. <laughs> And while the goal is to do some painting, there's something deeper happening here. I believe all arts are a form of therapy. However, myself and my staff, who's an expressive arts therapist as well, Gailey Knox, are trained and credentialed art therapists. As an art therapist and having worked and been trained to work to, in clinical settings, more institutional settings, I have this all in here. But when kids walk in the door, um, we're a I see them with full potential as complete human beings, regardless what my clinical mind's going, oh, he's ADHD, or they're very depressed, or, you know, I try to really to stay away from that and meet them where they're at um, as little human beings. Maybe an airplane. <gasps> the first step in that, Silvestri says, is creating a safe space for creativity and self-expression. Oh, nice, Elijah. Ultimately, once the art starts, so does the connection. But a lot is social skills and kindness and dealing with peer conflicts and family conflicts and offering them the space and modeling to express that, that's safe and outside themselves and it doesn't harm themselves or others, but also then we can work with that. And long-term goals is to really build skills for them to carry through um, in their own families, in their own peer relationships, outside of art van, in school, in community, um, to develop a sense of um, resiliency towards um, challenges and difficult situations. These are all packed up in advance. It's important work. Silvestri and her team knew they needed to continue, even through a pandemic, although it did add costly challenges. We created these art bags and we did that in March. That one's for you. Like really, it only took a couple of weeks of research and brainstorming. Oh, we ordered new supplies, we were gloved and masked. And still making connections. Perfect, so you wanna fold it? But this time with art drop-offs and instructional videos on YouTube. And you paint it on the paper where you wanna stick your piece. Letting kids know that their friends are still here for them and that they can still share their feelings and creativity. What are you doing, Aiden? What are you making? And when important Coming moments in? were happening in the nation, right in, in the, the world, and in their own communities, Silvestri says they used that to work with the emotions some of their kids were feeling. June was a difficult month with all the racial discord. And I have a youth um, that's a contract artist with me who I've known since seventh grade. She's now 21. And I said, Jalen, how can you help me help us to design some of our projects that don't pinpoint racism, but that can talk about individuality and the importance of we're all the same. Through the projects and the connection, even if it is through video or deliveries. So there's like lots of different pieces of foam. Silvestri says the goal of Art Van has been the same for 16 years. <laughs> to meet kids wherever they may be in life and form safe and meaningful connections through art. When kids are given that permission and they feel safe and they trust you to share an image a story, a poem, through their art, that to me is this deep human moment of authenticity and generosity on their part. Um, because what we invite kids to do is, is risk-taking. Check out the video. 